Welcome back. We're gonna do the last of the jig style dry flies. Uh, I was gonna do it on a, a factory hook, but I decided to I have hackle hanging off of me. Uh, I decided to show you how I bend my hooks, and then if you, I mean, if you want, you can always just grab the uh, uh, th this one. I th I'd say the 7220 MFC or the Gamagatsu is is the best hook for this this particular fly but it's just a slightly longer fly, right? And so what I'm gonna show you is, is how I do mine. And if I've done this on my cripple, showing people how I do it, but I do it in the vise, right? And so here, we're, this is, we're gonna do this little female Adams. And you know you can see it's right here. We'll talk about that when we get, when we get going. But in the, in the other one, and you could do the same thing with this. You could do, in my cripples and, in my cripple uh, video, I show you how to do this by putting the hook inside the vise like this so that you can't have the hook get sideways. Well, on this one, it's a little easier. And I want you to see, you just take, open your vise, and so this is loose. As long as that's loose, it doesn't matter. Or you can take, if you take pliers, you have to be so careful because if you grab this hook really tight like that and you bend it, now you can hold it like that. Bring it and, up. Oops, sorry, you can hold it like this, and you know it's there, and you can bend this pretty easy, but just make sure that when you do that, it's not tight. It's just semi, you know, just, you know, just keep it loose. And so it's really simple. Just lighten it up and just turn it like that. Just do it in a couple pieces. But you can see how loose my pliers are. And so just look at it, and if it's where you want it, it's where you want it. So that's basically, you know, pretty close. You could have just as easily, if you can tell how far you wanted it, you could have put it in the hook and went like that. So, but just don't clamp down on this hook. So I think that's pretty close, Give it a little bit more. And if you do, if you get tight on this, it won't break when you're fishing it. It'll break in your pliers. I've never, I, I don't remember when Cripples and Spinners came out that book, but I'd been doing those hooks for probably two years before that, and I've never broke one. But I broke hundreds of them before I figured out bending them, before I figured out how to do it. So this one's gonna be pretty straightforward. We're gonna have, now that's a 101. We're gonna do it on a 14. And, and remember, when you do these things, when you do it on a 14, I just made it a 16 because I shortened everything up, right? So good idea if you're gonna make your own, just look at them. And you'll see that this is no longer, when it was out here, it was a 12, now it's a 16. And so if you're gonna do it, I use the 101s, whatever hook you like, um, or do the 7220 or the Gamagatsu. And so tail-wise, I'm gonna use a uh, Fiery Ginger Cote de Leon. Um, this is just, this is kind of a, people haven't seen this color as much. This is just the sexiest color that was ever invented. And so that's going to be my tailing, uh, and it's just whatever. If you've got a, if you've got like this, is a light ginger uh, CDL neck. If you go in here and dig around on the sides, you'll find some of those really darker, gingery ones. And then body wise, super fine. Just I'm going to use I'm going to do the female version. In the old days, every fly had a female version. It wasn't just now and then. It's the egg sac, right? And so. I, it just looks cool. I like it. I grew up fishing. You always had both. And not only in the, in the dry fly, but in your wet flies as well. So, uh, let's see. I'm going to have some short fine deer hair, which is around here somewhere. I'll find that in a second. And then we're going to have, I'm going to use uh, olive 18 aught nano silk, and that's about all we'll have to it. So, we're going to just wax this. And there's a couple things as we go that They'll help you out as we, I lost my hack, there it is. I already pulled that hackle. As you go, we're, there's a couple things that'll help. Uh, it, it's mostly at the end when we set this, but so I'm gonna, but I'm gonna, I tie this with the front end, the way I do this one, it's a kind of the, it's, it's a hackled fly, but it's kind of got the found lake tilt wing. And so when I get in here, I use it in quarters now. I don't use, I don't use the, usually I do two thirds, one third, I, I use this in quarters. So I'm gonna set my thread about where you think the quarter mark is, right there. You can see, 
and you'll be able to eyeball a little bit when you get up here. And then just gonna work back here and tie in our tail. I'm gonna stop about right here and cut this thread off so you don't have any strays. Now, I'm gonna show you a little trick. I was telling Jeremy, I said, you know, when you don't, I do a lot of seminars. When you don't do a lot of tying seminars, you forget stuff. And I'm gonna show you how to set a tail that's a little different, just a gauge thing, because I'm gonna show you both things. So I'm gonna, it's gonna have a little beefier tail because these, these Cac de Leon feathers are, they're really cool, but they're really kind of wispy. And so I'm gonna give it a little heavier tail than normal. And usually I would say make the fly, the hook, the tail, excuse me, the length of the body, right? Well, make sure you don't do it the length of the whole thing, but try to get it about the length of the body. And so I'm just gonna grab this, give it a pinch wrap and set it, right? Let me give it one, two, three turns. And now we know how long we want the body. We want it right there. We want the length, it's gonna be that long. And this is a super easy habit to get into. Just take your scissors and go like that. So you, you want your thread, I'm a little bit forward right now. So just be back just a little bit. So you can take your scissors and do that and know that's the length of, if that's the length of your body, and you can go like that. And tell, and if it's not, if it's too short, too long, just move it before you go on. So just check your hook, just super fast, right? Perfect. So now we're going to move forward, just tie that down. And again, now is another, you can stop this and say, okay, that's my quarter point right there. Bingo. And nothing goes past that. Just clean it up, come back. If you want to, you see, if you want to put a wrap under your tail and pull it up and set it, you can get your tails to set up a little bit and splay like that. I don't want it to do it on this one, but it's just, it's a nice, it's a nice feature if you do. But when I put this egg sack on, I tend to have a tendency to clump them down a little bit. So I'm going to take, this is just amber super fine. I'm going to use amber and I'm going to use uh, gray because it's an Adams. And so I'm going to come in here. You don't need much of this. Just a nice, you know, maybe half inch or three quarters of an inch of dubbing. And so same thing. I... Well, not the same thing. I was talking to her on the last video I did. I was talking about how if you go at a slight angle away from you, so from my right shoulder to my left, I tend to build better bodies that way. I don't have, I just, I can build quicker. So now I'm going to take this, the uh, gray, and the same thing. Now, this is a mayfly. We, we, I preach about this constantly. It's, it's, everything is tapers in mayflies. And so we're gonna give them a V-man taper. Kick that out of your way. And so you can see it, you can see it forming. And the one thing you're gonna find in these jig hooks, this one's a big one, I, I wanna be able, to, you'd be able to see it, but you'll find that if you're used to tying other ones, you're gonna need less stubbing because it's, it, it, it happens quicker. So same thing, skinny at that side, and I'm kind of going it away from me, and I build a cleaner body this way, right? And so now I'm at my quarter point right there. And so now we're gonna tie in, I'm gonna take in, I'm gonna put in this uh, furnace brown, uh, just because it's one of the coolest I've ever seen. It's actually got black tips on the end of it even. And I'm gonna tie this in, and I, but I want you to look, and I, because you're gonna get four turns of hackle on this, you know, one, well, three and a half kind of. And so you're, you're gonna get, but look at it and don't, don't be too skimpy. You don't need a lot of hackle and you're gonna cut because you're gonna cut most of this off. I, I talked about that when we did the introduction to these, this whole series of flies, that you can't have your hackle pushing your fly up like this or else you're not getting the effect of the hook being down in the water. And so I basically cut them off spinner style. And so the body's sitting, the, the thorax is sitting down in the water, and the, and the legs are sitting on the water like this, and the hook's through the, through the water. So I'm gonna cut this off, just so we got our little stems. And I'm going to, and this is another thing, I want the convex side going to my left, the shiny side to my left. What I don't wanna do is I wanna obscure my body anymore, 
and I want the hackle to kind of lay forward. If you want it the other way, that's fine. You can, it's however you like. I just like it to be to the convex, the shiny, the show side is to your left right now. So we're gonna come in here, however you tie your hackle in, and I'm going to catch that, and I'm gonna give it a little bit of wax right now, and I'm just gonna clean that hackle stem up. And now, this is another, this is one of the tricks. I, I told you earlier, I like to see this covered with thread. I don't want any reflection on it, and because the steel's reflective, and so I'm just simply going to go down here and right to the eye and I'm just, just a little bit. I'm going to come back here right to the point where it bends and we get a little bit more dubbing because we want it. I like to have an abdomen that's a third bigger than the, or excuse me, that, I do that all the time. The thorax, a third bigger than the abdomen. And so just, I, but we're going to have, we're going to have the wing on top of it, so it's going to do a natural build on it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I come back in here. I'm going to get right here. I'm going to get to the back, the front of this, the hackle. And I'm going to give it two turns right there. I'm going to work forward. And I want to set this. I want to do that kind of rapidly. I want to set that right at the edge. I want this bulb we're going to do, I want it to help stop the fly from going through. So now, what am I going to do with that here? That's fine. Give me you. That's got to be good hair. It's just been waiting. Ooh, it's a little fuzzy. It'll work. <laughs> it's really fuzzy. That's hot. Okay, we're done with you. Get out of the way. So now I've got, I've got some really short, fine deer hair, white tail, and I'm going to clean this. It's a hock. It's a piece of the, the, the femur, actually. And it's, got, it's pretty fuzzy. By the way, you guys have all seen this in my videos. Uh, I've had that one comb. I, I got, I've had that thing for 30 years, I think. And I, we have these, these combs sitting in the back that we do our kits with. And this one's a, a wide and a skinny one. And man, I can't tell you, I don't know why I didn't think of that a hundred years ago. I take that through the fat one and then the really tight ones. Wow. Especially when you're doing the big flies, it really makes a difference. It, ta it cleans it twice as fast. And so, but this one's really fuzzy. I don't like that much fuzz in there, but just to keep things moving. These micro stackers are the greatest things ever. So now I'm just checking, make sure that all my tips are pretty much even. So we're going to take this in your right hand, come up and make it the length, make the wing, the length of the overall body. If you look at a mayfly's wing, it's almost always laying against its abdomen, and it'll be the length of the whole body, right? So we're, And this is a great cider for you. So we see that, and then I'm going to cut it. I've got it right there is where I want it to be cut. And now I'm going to give it a little bit extra because we're going to make that bulb with this, with the, uh, with the head that we're going to put in here. So now make sure your thread's tight and you spun to your right. And so just get your hackle out of the way. Come in here, a little bit more in there, and just two turns right through that head. And now just accelerate down here. Give that a little bit of a wax right there. And I want you to put a half hitch in right tight to that head. That, that's going to help you out a lot because your thread will want to have a tendency to go down here and you've already cleaned it up so you don't need to do anything else. And so we're done with our body, right? And so that's why we came in here. You can see we've got a nice abdomen. Double check that your wing is set on top. Everything's right where it belongs. And now we're going to take one turn, nice tight turn, right behind this thing, behind the, the wing. One, and this is where I said it's kind of three and a half. And we go right there, so we've got nice tight turns behind it. it. Stabilizes the wing a little bit, and then I want you to give two turns through between the head and the, between the head and the uh, wing. Well, that little thing we built, it's kind of like that little L-care thing. And this is why you got your thread, you put a half hitch right there. So we're going to trap this feather at the very top. Keep it right on top. 
And so now we're not going to get a lot of capture in the, in the fly. You know, the, the hackles aren't we're right tight. And just get a hold of it and give yourself two or three, build a little tiny taper with it. If you want to bend it back, you can, and just get it nice and tight so you know it's there. Now I'm going to show you something I learned from my buddy Charlie Craven. One of the cleanest tires I've ever seen in my life. He's always, I watched two of his videos and he never, he, he, and it's his, I, I've never seen anybody else in the earth do it. And you grab your hackle stem right here. I'm going to have to do it with my left, I'm going to have to reach around to over top because the cameras are here. But you grab all those fibers at once and you go in there and you cut that tight. I miss, I never I missed one. And what that does is now watch in my hand, all those stem ends right there, those are the ones that we're gonna get trapped forward and make your fly look like crap. So it's, it's nice and I wax my thread, so I'm just gonna capture that butt, come back in here, get it so it's nice and clean. You can barely see that little thing. A little build up there. I'm gonna come right down to the bottom. Get your hackles out of the way, and we can just do a little whip finish right here. You're going to glue that. Dang it. Went crazy. All right. Other than that part, we were fine. So now I'm going to look. I did get, I did capture, reaching around that thing was a little tougher. Now I'm going to hit this with a spot of glue right on the top and just let it get all, whoops, get a little of my hackle. So, beauty, miss. That'll just, you know, it, it, that's going to go through the water. So, here we are. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. Now we're going to take this and, Jesus, I got glue on there. And what I do is I come right here and I spread that with my fingers. I just get a hold of it. Take your bodkin, just try to sp split them so they're even. When you're looking down over top of it and so the first thing you're going to notice when you look at that <clears throat> is that it's a darker thorax that's exactly what you want you want a darker thorax and you want it to look thicker right it's bigger and then just come in from just look at it when you when i take this out when you look down here <clears throat> got a little chunk on there when you look down here i want at the front of it you don't want this you I already clipped it out right so that thing's all gone so when it sits down on the water it's on its you want them just a little bit sticking down see how those are can you see that Jeremy so yep. they're it's hard <clears throat> for me to tell where we're at yeah there. you're perfect see how those are down just a little bit so when that hits the water they're going to push up like that right and they're going to be nice and it's not a lot of flotation on that and so now We've got our female Adam. She's got her little egg sac sitting there. You got your nice wispy tail. It's the exact same length as your body because you use your scissors. And you got your hackle tied in there. You use your little Charlie Craven trick. I almost got that right, Charlie. I missed one. I've never, I've really never tried it on one of these. And so, at any rate, you can see from the bottom, I've got nice long legs. I like, I always make my hackle. You've heard every video you've ever heard me do. I say get at least one size bigger than it calls for. So we'll just trim a little of that away so when you look at it, you think it looks pretty. There we go. Looks beautiful. Okay, another, I could use a little shot of glue right there. But that is the traditional style, You're more of your traditional, it's a traditional female atom, so it's kind of lost in space right now. I really encourage people, if, if you, especially if you fish spinner, fish spinner falls, make sure you got some egg sacs on your on your mayflies. It can be a real code cracker. And so anyway, it's a, you can see it's a very simple fly to tie, tidy up as Davey would say right in here. I got a couple strand, stragglers in there, and then make sure that your wedge is down just a little bit. Don't you don't have to cut it flat, flat. Just a little bit of a wedge. Got your wings nicely set back just like a normal mayfly would be not straight up and down like they aren't and that is the doesn't really have a name but it's the female atoms on the jig style hooks 
Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you out.